Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the engine speed on the Honda GX390 engine, which is on the generator. And here's the generator, and here's the GX390 Honda engine. It's a nice engine, it's a real Honda, it's not a clone engine like you find on a lot of other generators. Now the issue with this generator is that the engine RPMs are a bit slow. I'm going to start it up to show you and then I'm going to take a reading with my tachometer. I even had the auto throttle switch in the off position. The auto throttle features for when you're running your generator with no load. If this is in the on position, it will throttle down on its own. So I ran it with the switch in the off position because I wanted the generator to rev at its highest. And even then it doesn't rev as high as it should. And as you saw in the tachometer, it showed just over 3000 RPMs. Now it does state here on the generator that it should be around 3600 RPMs. And if the RPMs are too low, it can affect the volts coming out of the plugs. So now I'll show you what to do to make it rev higher. What you need to do is look above the carburetor on your engine. You're going to see a screw right behind it, above it. And you need to turn this screw in to make the RPMs faster. If your engine was revving too high, then you would turn it out. And here's a view from the side of it. You can see that when you tighten it, it's going to push the throttle lever or governor. And when you unscrew it, it's going to make it go back. So what I need to do in this case is turn that screw in a few turns until the RPMs go up. And I'll be reading the RPMs while I'm tightening in the screw just to get it around the desired RPMs. And now I'm just going to start up the generator and proceed to do this. What I did is I set the RPMs as close to 3600 as I could. It was just under 3600 by a few digits, so it's not a big deal. And now the RPMs will be where they should be, and we know that it's going to produce the power it should. I'll just show you that screw again before I end off the video. Again, it's above the carburetor. It's right over here. Just remember that it's behind the spark plug cap. And on this side of the engine, it's just above the air filter and carburetor. As you can see it right over there. And here's a better view of it now. And the arm that the screw adjusts is attached to a spring. It goes to the rest of the linkage configuration and governor arm. Also, it's very important that you don't set the RPMs above what the manufacturer recommends. You could blow the engine, specifically the connecting rod, and you can damage your engine permanently. That's why I kept it just under 3600 RPMs, just to make sure it does not go over. It's not really going to affect the engine at all. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you'll see me next time.